Following the adoption of the government's 60-point reform plan, reactions from both sides of the political spectrum continue to be heated. The reforms are aimed at generating economic growth, lowering public debt, reducing the deficit, and streamlining public administration. The opposition is strongly criticizing the proposals, in particular the changes to the retirement age, which is set to push back the current retirement age to 67. The Social Democrats have sent two bills into parliamentary procedure. One relates to referenda, while the other regulates the financing of political activities, campaigns and referenda. While presenting the bills today, SDP MP Nenad Stasi sharply criticized the government, saying that since it came into office, it has only managed to draft ten laws and none of them could be characterized as reformative. Deputy Prime Minister Bozhil Petrov faces a tough challenge today. He is scheduled to resume talks with public sector unions this afternoon. The government's proposal to push back the retirement age is adding to the already deep divide between unions and the government over a freeze on a promise to give workers a 6% raise when the economy recovers. Unions say they won't support the reform plan and are planning a May Day protest in Zagreb's Maximith Park on Sunday. Rights groups accused the government today of incompetence and said its policies were moving toward neoliberalism. Activists gathered under the Platform 112 Federation held a news conference today addressing the government's first 100 days in office. The tent in which disabled homeland war veterans camped in protest for 555 days in front of the Veterans Ministry in Zagreb has been erected in Vukovar, near the Homeland War Memorial Center. However, war veterans from Vukovar say the location is inappropriate. In gymnastics, the Grand Prix Jito Challenge Cup is underway in Osijek. Croatia's Robert Zelingman had the top score on the pommel horse yesterday. Zeligman and fellow Croatian Filip Ude have both qualified for the pommel horse final. This afternoon's forecast calls for mostly cloudy skies. There is still a chance of occasional rain in the east and in Dalmatia. It will be mostly dry in the northwest and west of the country and predominantly sunny on the northern sections of the coast. The north and central Adriatic coast can expect a moderate to high northeasterly wind, while the southern parts of the coast will see a moderate southeasterly shifting to a northwesterly. Afternoon temperatures will range mostly from 9 to 14 degrees Celsius in the interior and from 15 to 18 degrees on the coast. Saturday morning will start out cool with patches of fog in the interior, but temperatures will eventually rise and it will be relatively sunny. Clouds and rain are expected to return on Sunday, especially in the mountains. Cool and rainy weather is in store for the coming week. On the coast, it will be mostly to partly sunny on Saturday. Sunday will be cloudy with rain and showers. Heavier rain is expected on Monday. Northeasterly winds will begin to pick up on Sunday.